it's video time and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on my Bollywood look. When I'm out in the community or out at a party or anywhere, uh, people usually ask me what I do with my makeup and finally with everyone's encouragement, especially my husband, I'm going to show you what I do. Just a quick uh, rundown on the primers that I use, it usually helps keep your um, makeup down and settled on your face throughout the day. I'm taking a little bit, a little dab, just kind of mixing it around and just like lotion, like face lotion, putting it around my face, um, especially in the areas where I'm going to be putting on makeup, and that's it. I discovered this product, MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Massage, uh, on my wedding day. A friend of mine had given it to me and suggested to me to put it on, and um, I've been using it since. And it took me years and years and years to you to find a foundation that suited my skin tone. And this is the closest thing that I could find. It's the MAC NC44. Um, more on the honey side uh, of that yellowish tone skin. Um, I used to use sponges and that little round egg thing, uh, sponge thing. <laughs> You should probably know what I'm talking about. But I used to use that um, for a while and then I discovered this last year. It's just a foundation brush that I found from uh, Target, Sonia Kashuk. Yeah, Sonia Kashuk, uh, tools number four. It doesn't soak in in all the sponge. Instead, it leaves it on the brush so I can paint it on my face. I'm a big artist, uh, I've done artwork and been into art my whole life. So usually the way I look at putting on makeup is creating art. Um, it's for me, it's not to impress other people, although sometimes it feels good when you get compliments, but it makes me feel good. I love dressing up, uh, you'll see through time. And I love putting on makeup, it's fun for me. And in the mornings, it's very therapeutic. So I'm using Neutrogena. The mineral shears is what I'm on lately, but usually I use the skin clearing mineral powder. Same thing, honey beige uh, for both. Uh, this one sits on properly and I don't have to use much of it. I like the sponge of it. I just put it on my cheeks, try to even out everything. All right, so the powder is down. And we don't like to look like only this side of our face is done. You want to blend in the rest of it on your neck. So I do a little bit. Another trick that I learned right before my wedding, one of my friends, she taught me instead of getting the eyebrow primers and all those things, I'm using uh, contact lens uh, uh, cleansers. I get the travel size and I just kind of dab it on my skin a little bit and uh, get a brush. This is a one of the Victoria's Secret, you know, free brush things that I use, a kind of like a, to do the crease. And um, I love this by Maybelline, the Blushed Nudes palette. Really pretty colors, uh, warm colors, and it's got the browns and the purples and stuff that uh, suits my tone, but I think this would suit anyone's tone. And what that does is just like a primer, it keeps your eyeshadow on throughout the day, and it does. It's the cheapest solution. So either get the travel version or get a big bottle, whatever you want. I get the travel version because when I do travel, it's easy to take around everywhere. Okay, so just in that soft strokes, I've kind of uh, brushed over the creases right above my eyelids and um, I just kind of eyeball to see if it's even um, it takes practice a lot of practice and um, I use this one to do my lower brow so with that wet and wild one there's this kind of goldenish light tone that works well with my skin and I just kind of put it Underneath to kind of highlight it and to hide any um, growing eyebrow stubble. <laughs> I found 
this waterproof gel eyeliner by Rimmel. I love Rimmel, again. And it's a brown shade, it comes with a brush, and I found it was a lot more easier than the pencil. And again, the way I view it, just mentally even, is that, okay, I'm creating shapes, I'm creating symmetry, uh, I'm drawing on a piece of paper, except it's my face. Sometimes it makes me feel confident. There's a lot of non-traditional ways of doing things. We've got to experiment and see what works for us. Something that might work for someone else may not work for me or it's probably not my style. And that's okay. That's how we learn from each other. And kind of even, um, you might learn one thing from me and then kind of take that and uh, spin an idea off of that. With something else that you may have discovered on your own and that's the way to do it okay. so I'm just kind of evening it out looking at the bigger picture now you know we look at details a lot right and then we look at the bigger picture and that helps so, use the great lashes Maybelline waterproof uh, dark brown or black because I have black hair but it's dark brown and I like to just kind of brush my little hairs that I have upwards um, to get rid of that powdery look and also to make it look like there's hair just a recent uh, grab is Sangria Castles AO 68 by Wet n Wild and it's got that toasted look um, gives a little bit of shading. It's not too dramatic. So, you know, we all like to make faces and I do. So you're just gonna do a pussy face or a duck face or whatever. I'm gonna see your uh, cheek line over there. Just dab it. I squeeze this brush a little bit so it goes across. actually creating that shading around your face so it closes it in makes it look a little bit narrower blush and I like the rosy looks make that face again it's all good and just kind of on my higher cheekbones a little bit so this is buy one get one free I'm actually using the actual cheek shimmer and I put it here on the front just because you want the glow to come from here upwards hey baby I'm my kitty here <laughs> just trying to come up all right so again you're drying your eyes so this is very routine for me. Like I do this every day. My motto is I like to be ready for anything at any time. So basically you're just drawing a line, framing your eye as thick as you want. I do it thick. Because again, we're doing the Bollywood look. And uh, if you wanna draw that line like that and then fill it in, you can do that fill it in as you go like what I'm doing you can do that that way too and then you can create a wing so the way to do that is what I do is kind of just uh, stretch my skin a little bit so it's easier to draw um, and just make a line up and then I picture a line down here a shadowy look underneath your eyes for that smoky look, so then one I like to use is this blackish shimmery color. I use that brush to create that shadowy look. Uh, it's the nice width. I just outline the bottom of my eye. 
And even if you end up making it thicker a little bit, that's fine. You can always brush it off. Some people like to put that white eyeliner on. I think it works better with fair skin. I may be wrong or maybe I'm not using the right color, but um, you know, I've got that kind of shadowy look and I like dark eyes, so I take my eyeliner and just eyeline the inside of my line. See, no matter how you dry it in, it's gonna blend in with what you already did. So you don't have to worry about that perfect line. Okay, got that dark eye look. This mascara. And apparently this is supposed to be really good for people who have contacts. I had glasses most of my life. I'm 32 years old right now. Oh, I should have had you guessed, huh? But um, yeah, I'm 32 years and uh, I have had glasses since I was nine. Had contacts most of my teenage adulthood. And then two years ago I got LASIK done and it changed my world. So um, this would have been great if this was out then. If it was, I had no idea. But I'm just using the blackest black because again, I like really dark eyes and the Bollywood look kind of accentuates colors and eyes and your eyes are so expressive, right? When you look at people, that's the first thing I do is I make eye contact. Um, it's the nice thing to do. And uh, I for sure speak with my eyes. So um, I like to accentuate that and I got a little mascara onto my skin there and you just kind of brush it off a little bit. It's still wet so it's not a big problem or use your sock. <laughs> I need my sock. And there you go. I let it dry a little bit and then I kind of just kind of fold them up. Um, and for lipstick, basically I love the Dollar Store Jordana brand. <laughs> I've used it for years, man. Uh, the top, uh, taupe, number 38. I kind of do a base coat, it stays on all day. And creates this matte look. You can use a plain like that if you're not too much into color, but I love this uh, NYC Wine Room 906D color. And I can add color to my face. I used to do the lip liner thing back in the 90s. And people made fun of me for years about that. Now I don't use lip liners, and if I do, I match colors now. So if I'm doing the hot pink look, this is again Rimmel, it's the Indian pink. How fitting, right? And in this lip liner, lip liners are used so the lipstick, like you saw, uh, don't run outside of your lips, and just kind of contains it in. And it also helps define your lips. So if you want to do anything special, like make your upper lips look bigger or anything, you can do that. Uh, I already have good size lips that I'm satisfied with. What works is uh, I'll get any lip gloss. Uh, this is a SYX by Unfed Unforgettable Moments. I don't know where I got this from, but it twists. And just kind of put it there on the top and bottom. Create that. How do you look? And there you go. This is my everyday look. down and poser. It's okay to do that. It's okay to pose. It builds confidence. I pose in public too. Okay, and that's the look.